We're now in the final part of this short compositing workflow series for Mocha Pro and Fusion. I'm Ben Brownlee here for Boris Effects. We've done most of the hard work now, uh, tracking in elements and stabilizing our shot. I'm going to take a little bit of time just to finish up the composite with some last minute tricks to make it all fit together. So let's see where the problems are and how to fix them. My main issue is with this area around here. It's with the trees. Those are the things that are, are kind of definitely giving the game away for me. So I'm going to create a bit of a light wrap. and I'm going to use a lot of the same data that we've actually already got. The first thing I need to do is just get a version of this, my sunset, and I need to have that tracked into the right place. So I'm just going to copy my tracker. So this is the, um, let's actually rename this one. Sky replacement track, copy this, control command C, paste it, control or command V. And we'll hook both of the inputs into the sky replacement. So now we've got our sky here. Let's pipe the sky replacement back into the input. So we've just got this going over the top again. And let's go foreground over background. Excellent. Okay. And then let's pipe in the same Luma key into the light wrap. If we take a little look at the before and after, these are going to be identical because we've not done anything different to them yet. All we've done is place another copy of the sunset over the top, masked with the same key. So let's make that different. Okay. I'm going to add a blur and I'm going to hook up my Luma key into the blur and then take the output of that blur into the effect mask on the light wrap. And let's just blur that over the top there. So as I blur this, you can now see that we're getting a bit more of a glow going over the top of our trees and we can have that subtle or we can have that, you know, really big. And I keep that fairly, fairly subtle ish. I mean, we've got a giant lens flare coming through, so there is motivation for this light to come through. And let's see how that's looking. That's looking pretty good. We're still getting a tiny bit of that bleed through coming in at the top here. So I think the only thing to really do about it is to come into the Luma key and actually adjust that up a little bit. And it doesn't need a lot, I don't think. Just adjusting that there, just sort of bringing in that, making it a slightly higher contrast map seems to work. Okay, so if I'm happy with that, and I think I am, I'm now just going to replace the input into the lens flare with the light wrap. And then let's just see how that works for the rest of it here. Yeah, that works well. So looking back on that now, that's, that's looking pretty good. We've got nice natural glow coming through and we don't have the, uh, the sort of very obvious telltale keying signs. So really the very, very final thing is just to put in that last bit of, of color in there. And I'm just going to finish this off with Sapphire's color fuse. So this is a great way of adding that final little touch. Color fuse is Sapphire's uh, LUT mixer effect. So I'm just going to come in and find actually a preset that I kind of like, maybe just the, the Kodachrome heavy there, load that in. And if we take a look at the before and after now, we can see just how far we've come using a little bit of Mocha data and a bit of Fusion. I hope you found this useful. If you want to learn more about Mocha, then as I've mentioned at several points throughout this course, then check out the Mocha Essentials training. That really will go over everything that you need to know to be on the path to becoming a Mocha expert. My name is Ben Brownlee for Boris Effects and I will see you again soon. If you'd like to see more training for Mocha Pro and Fusion, then please let us know in the comments below. If you've got any suggestions for the type of project you'd like to see, then tell me down there as well. For a free trial of Mocha Pro and all of the Boris Effects lineup, head on over to borisfx.com.